Hi there, welcome to Radius Tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to analyze radius packet using Wireshark. So if you already captured packet, filter all your radius protocol and type radius on the filter section and click on apply. And then analyze this package using analyze decode as radius. So what is radius? So radius is remote authentication dial in user service. So radius server use the AAA concept to manage network access in the following two step process known as AAA means it stand with authentication authorization and accounting. So any radius client which has to gain access to network resource it will send an access request packet. It is up to radius server whether it has to send a radius accept or radius reject or access challenge so we will go through entire information one by one so the default the radius fuse uh, radius runs on top of udp with the port 1812 so we'll see what is access request packet first click on radius protocol we can see access request means this packet are sent to radius server and convey information used to determine whether the user is allowed access to a specific NAS and any special service requested for that user. Okay. So re access request identifier of five the value is one octet zero five and we have authenticator this is 16 octet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen octet authenticator then we have request authenticator and we have attribute value pair so we have following attribute value for we have nas ip address nas port port type username calling station all the attribute value pair in access request packet so this request packet is sent to the radius server and the radius server has come with access challenge you can see from 10.0.1 to 10.0.100 and from 100 to 1 so server has given a code of access challenge so in access challenge what will happen in this uh, if the radius server desire to send the user challenge requiring a response then the radius server must respond to the access request by transmitting a packet with code fill set with access challenge so on this receipt the identifier field must match with the pending access request so what is my identifier field packet identifier 5 so if you go to the first packet my packet identifier is also 5 so it has matched then what will it will do it will then send original access request with the new request id and request authenticator with the user password attribute replaced by the user response and include the state attribute from the access challenge so when the server has request access challenge then the client will issue a new request you can see the id is equal to 6 is here and the state value if you see the state cd195032 fdc302 this is the state it should match with the access challenge state f1d77 f1d77 so this is the state information it has matched finally the server the dot hundred will send a access accept so tip, this is the typical flow of uh, past radius flow so we have the following uh, information 
we have access request we have access accept we have access reject accounting request accounting response access challenge status server status client and reserved so these are the following list of attribute value pairs key feature of radius like uh, a network access server operate as a client to radius security transaction between the client and radius serves server authenticate through the use of shared secret which is never sent over the network so it can support ppp pap csap unix login other authentication mechanism thanks for watching the video if you have any question do let me know i'll try to answer over the government and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you